What's going on, Hatch Life fam? On today's episode, we're gonna be doing a DIY kayak build. I already did part one to this. This is gonna be part two, and this is gonna be the upgrade. This is six months later after using this thing, traveling, you know, hundreds of miles, putting wear and tear on this thing, seeing what worked and what didn't work. So now we're gonna upgrade this thing and let me show you guys what we're gonna do. Guys, so the first problem that we had was this angle iron right here. This angle iron that I used wasn't strong enough. So our first priority is gonna be taking this off and upgrading to this angle steel right here that I got. So the first thing we gotta do is get the kayak off. So. All right guys, now you guys can get a better look at it. You see this angle iron got bent up. Look at this thing right here. This part right here super bent so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna be drilling holes in that angle iron over there the angle steel and also another upgrade that i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be using bolts instead of i had screws in there at first so i'm gonna be using bolts and i'm gonna be using double lock nuts um to hopefully keep it from rattling what was happening the bolts that were under here see you guys see that they're rattling loose over time as the cut as it bounces up and down on the road um and i'm also going to be drilling out this hole so a lot bigger so it makes it so i can get a washer in there too as well and be able to get the washer down in there um, and make it a lot easier with installing these uh these uh bunks so i have a drill bit right here boom it's a uh, multi multi uh hole dozer two and a quarter inches so the first thing I want to do is I want to get this measurement that I had my two set on for the kayak. I believe it was sitting at around eight and nine and a half inches. Okay, so we got nine and a half inches in the back and then it opened up to around 10 and a half inches in the front. Um, it's skinnier in the back than it is in the front on the Old Town Sportsman. So you want nine and a half from center to center and then 10 and a half in the front. So I'm going to write that down. The other side, the other side doesn't matter. Um, their bunks are just sitting there and the kayaks just sit on top of them so I can put those at any space that I want Which I'll probably put them at uh, Probably about five inches apart over there on that side Maybe six inches apart, but it's not a, it doesn't matter as much as this side though. Out the way for now. All right, next step we need to do is take off the bolt that is that is secure in this right here. done with these never using them again all right guys for this part i'm just going to make sure that i have the same length from here to the end as i do on this side from here to the end so let's see right now we have 12 inches on this side i can already tell this side has more than 12 inches this side has 13 so a foot and a half perfect so I have the measurements. I marked my holes of where they're gonna sit on the bunk. And now I'm pre-drilling my pilot holes for the bigger um, drill bit that I'm gonna put through. This is a three and a quarter drill bit. And what I did was I just put a little bit of water on the tip 
just to keep it uh, the friction and keep the drill bit lasting long to be able to make all the drills that I need. Uh, all right, guys, got the holes drilled through. Now let's, boom, perfect fit. And shout out to my boy Stormin right here coming through. He gonna help me out with the boat over there too as well. I'm gonna leave a link to his Instagram in the description if y'all in the DMV area and y'all need some work on your, your vehicles. He's a mobile mechanic. He'll come hook you up, guys. Make sure you check him out. Yes, all right, guys. I also raised the bunks up all the way to his highest level. So we got that done. And now I just got to drill my holes for the PVC pipe to go through. All right, guys. I got my spaces marked for the PVC pipe. We got nine and a half in the back and we got 10 in the front. And over here on the left side, we got 10 inches. So let's drill these out and then get the PVC mounted. guys we barely made it through but we got it through guys we ran out of battery power almost but now let's get these pvc bunks mounted and then you guys will see this thing really start to come together all right guys and just so you know how i'm securing these uh the pvc to the metal to the metal bunks washer inside the pvc through the pvc through the metal bunk and then I got the boat sitting on the other side of it and then we ratchet that down. All right guys, back, we done. Let me just show you, go over the, the upgrades. So now we have the angle steel on here. I drilled out the bigger holes. I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but we got the washers with the bolts on this side and we got the bolt on the other side. And this is gonna last hopefully a lot longer. So I'll let you guys know in about six months how well this one held up. Um, but there we go, DIY kayak trailer two. Now let's get the kayak on top and get everything secured, get all the tools cleaned up and we Gucci. Take down, waiting on a take down, take down, take down, waiting on a take down, take down, take down, waiting on a take down, take down, take down. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you guys like the upgrades. Hope it works on your kayak. Leave comments in below anything that you guys may see different or stuff that you guys want to see, any bills or anything like that for the future, any type of modifications that you guys want to see for the kayak. I also have a video of how I, all the modifications that I've done to this kayak, you know, monster rod holders, all that stuff, etc. I'll leave that in the description below guys and that's it this is a low ride trailer um and it's a like i said it's a john boat trailer but now we got it all set up and ready to go for this 2022 kayak season